Hey everybody, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we will be designing these option menus uh, all inside Adobe XD. Uh, we'll be prototyping these and um, they do look pretty cool. They're simple, cool looking and they do the job really well. So uh, without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so let's uh, draw a new artboard. The artboard sh should be 500 by 500 should do it. Uh, so for the first option action, we will first of all draw a quick option menu, like just like this, uh, those three dots that you see often inside applications and web apps. So that should be it. And let's give, a, give it this dark, really dark blue color. Perfect. Just very simple, very straightforward. And I'll just place it in the center. That's right. And I'll start drawing uh, some circles around this and uh, These circles will be the same blue, but you know slightly lighter So make sure it's slightly lighter just like that Perfect and uh, We will duplicate this we'll just hold option and just duplicate it and These should be 80% in opacity. So this one should be 50% in opacity So 80 and 50 we're going for that combination and as you can see I have this so I will just uh, spread this out. I will fast forward it or skip this portion just so that you guys don't get bored. Okay, so now I have all these circles laid around these options and you can have these circles uh, mostly inside websites and in, at the corner or at the edge. Uh, so this is a perfect uh, example. Okay, so before we move on, we have to create a rectangle first. A rectangle which will mask everything inside. So make sure it covers everything behind it and just select everything and say command shift M to mask it. Now double click on the artboard and say command D to uh, basically duplicate it. And in the next step, we will bring everything closer. So make sure everything is placed closely uh, so that, you know, it's, it's, it's more like a translucent or an opaque area. Perfect. Now what we will do, we will select everything in here and make sure it's 100% opacity, just like this. Uh, so that's perfect. Now we will go out and say Command D on the artboard. And in the next step, we will resize this box that we had drawn before and make sure that it covers from one edge to the other edge. So, so that it's, you know, completely trans lucent or opaque whatever you like there you go uh, now all i need to do is uh, write down the options so option one option one we'll do that and make sure this is white and uh, about 32 pixels should do it maybe even smaller 24 pixels perfect and we'll have about three options right here and uh, place it right below each other make sure that these are evenly placed perfect and uh, i'll just change these options from one two and three perfect now we have a the first effect we will prototype this we will click on this double click on this and just bring the arrow to the second artboard and say snap 0 0.4 seconds you can bring this down to about 0 0.3 just for a snappier uh, feel and on the second artboard, we will select the entire artboard and we will bring this arrow here and say time. So we want the time trigger to be taking place in here. Auto animate as always and snap 0 0.3 seconds. Let's do 0 0.2 seconds. Perfect. And if we click anywhere on this artboard, it should get us back to the original animation or the original artboard. So rather than saying time, we will say tap on the last artboard. So it brings us back here. Uh, so let's quickly check this out. Let me just center it out. And if I click on this, perfect. See how these circles just come in and combine into this rectangle. You can make it s uh, a little smoother if you want. I'm just leaving it just like this. Let's move on to the next effect. So for the next effect, I'm just gonna, because I'm feeling really lazy, I'm just gonna copy this artboard from the top and just remove everything in here. You know except this so i'm just gonna cu cut everything here and i'll just <laughs> make this come here 
so this one is a message kind of an effect like the ones you get on an iPhone you know so it comes down as messages so let me just change it to a really dark green perfect and let me bring it slightly towards the edge here so that we have more space and I will make a rectangle just like this you can make it of any size make sure it looks like a message right and I will give this a border radius about 25 perfect and I will remove the border from here and I'll give this the same green as this but lighter so it's like those uh, green bubbles you get when you're messaging someone perfect and uh, may, let me make this about 15 uh, pixels or 15 points on the border radius perfect and I will make a quick triangle here's a quick tip for you guys uh, if there is a plugin called convert shape and it can convert to any of these shapes so I'm gonna convert to triangle see that was really quick you don't really need to make a triangle I'll remove the border and give it the same color and I will just adjust these real quick just to give it that uh, you know message feel that message bubble feel something like this uh, let's make this straight perfect that seems pretty perfect and I will make this one object by clicking on this add button here and uh, I will make sure there is an option inside here so option one perfectly perfectly perfect so um, I will group these and I will create another one right below this just copy it over and this is slightly different uh, in the sense that it's the second message which somebody else is sending <laughs> if you get what I mean um, I'll bring this to the other side and make sure it's uh, laterally inverted just like this perfect and I'll place it right about here perfect and I will make this whole box a slightly lighter green you know like the ones you tend to send to somebody else something like this something slightly teal an option I'll change this to, to a black perfect and I want another option at the bottom which says the third option let's change this to option 3 and the second option to option 2 of course option 2 perfect now we have these three message icons so as to say and I will uh, I won't group these but I will make these much smaller in size just for now just like this scale it down and I want to bring the opacity down to zero uh, quickly duplicate this artboard and the first one we will first of all increase the size of this scale it up quite a bit and bring the opacity to 100 uh, make sure that the scaling has been done properly perfect and for the second one we will bring another artboard and the second one we will bring we will make the same size and we'll bring it to opacity 100 and bring it slightly below this and the third one uh, we'll make another artboard for this and we will bring it down here and make it the same size as these and bring it to 100 percent opacity that is about perfect um, the sizing is done let's prototype this real quick now i will click on if i click on this action should take place so tap auto animate snap 0.2 seconds here again we will click on the entire artboard right here select the artboard and bring the aggro over here and say time trigger and uh, you want it to snap just like the first one and the second one will do the same and uh, we will on tap anywhere else we will bring it right back here so snap 0.2 seconds and uh, rather than time say tap right here so let's test this out real quick if I click on this that's perfect that looks just like a message option that's perfect um, this can work out really well if you are looking for maybe like a contact option or things like that uh, if I uh, I'm just gonna copy this again right here I'll delete everything else except this button obviously <laughs> and I'll place this right in the middle now for the third effect I will make this a red a really deep red more like a crimson so as to say and I will uh, make an option bar right here just like this perfect 
uh, you can make it a square or a rectangle whatever you like and make this the same red as the option button but slightly lighter so just bring this here a little bit perfect and you want it right here perfect and uh, let's give this um, 50, 50 pixels no 20 pixel uh, border radius perfect and I, because I'm feeling slightly lazy, I'll bring the options from here. Just copy this over here. Perfect. And just as so. Perfect. Uh, now, what I have to do is group all of these elements together. And the next step would include a circle. So since we want it to be like a ripple effect, I want it to, I want this menu to be masked inside this. So I'll just bring it right here, make sure it's bigger uh, than the object in the background and make sure that I mask it, Command Shift M, perfect. And uh, I will make this much smaller. Wait a minute, I'll make the circle much smaller. So rather than making the whole thing here smaller, I'll make the circle much smaller and place it right on top of the options here, just like this. Perfect. As you can see, it's been masked, and all I have to do is say opacity zero. I will duplicate this artboard by saying Command D or Control D for Windows. And uh, right here, as you can see, this mask grouped is here, and I will bring the opacity to 100 right here. And let me increase the size of the circle so that it covers the entire area of this option menu and I'm going to center this out just like this. Perfect. And that's about it. That was a really simple effect. I would prototype this real quick, bring the arrow here, tap, auto animate, snap, run saying 0 0.2, let's say 0 0.4. And here we will want to tap on the artboard and bring it right back and say about 2 point, 0 0.2 seconds. So let's test this out. I'm going to click on the circles and voila. There you go, that simple ripple effect. Uh, if you don't want it to be like this, you can make it much smoother as well. But I'm gonna leave it just like that. Perfect. Uh, now for the last effect. The last effect is extremely simple. It's a material design option effect. For that, I'll just change the color of this option button to a black. And I want the option menu to be extremely simple. So maybe we make a square and give us a shadow, a box shadow of 12 by 24. Yeah, so it kind of looks like a material option and make this border radius of eight. Perfect. And I will just bring these options to this as well. I just copy these options over and I'll bring it right here. Make sure the text is slightly grayed out, just like this. And I want about say, two more options. So maybe one more option will do. Perfect. And I'll just resize this a little bit and group these together. So this is a material, very simple material design and we'll be scaling it down. Uh, this is the only one where we are scaling it down just like this. And uh, we just want everything to be here. Okay, so that there's more space and say command colon to hide this menu. Uh, that's a quick little trick. Uh, command D to duplicate the artboard and on the second artboard we will see the group here group 23 which is hidden and unhide it by clicking on this uh, eye icon and uh, I will make this much larger in size perfect so we're just scaling it up right here uh, and we're just gonna quickly prototype this and you'll see the effect come to life 0 0.2 seconds ease out because that's more like the material effect and uh, 0 0.2 seconds or maybe 0 0.3 seconds perfect and we'll do the same with this artboard bring it right back and there you go so let's try this out perfect that was the that was a simple material design uh, kind of um, pop-up uh, option window so there you go those were are four awesome option menu effects. I hope you liked that video. If you did, go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out for awesome videos every Monday and Thursday. 
and also don't forget to join my facebook group uh, where i'll be hosting awesome design challenges and other cool stuff uh, so i'll see you guys in the next video god bless